Right, so this is a demo of Brutal Pause of Fury. Or is it Pause of Furry? That's what it should be. Hang on a moment. Or is it? I'm just going to check it out. No, no, it is actually Pause of Fury. Okay. Pause of Furry would have been a more appropriate title. Oh, okay, it's already loaded up as well. Uh, Pre-release demo version, copyrights, yep. Okay, so... Right, so obviously the stuff faded out is... Uh, yep, we can't... Uh, we cannot control that. Difficulty level is set to medium. And it looks like the two characters available are Kendo, Coyote, and Ryo Rat. Best of three rounds. Timer on. Wow, I imagine it. it can have a best of seven. Okay, leave it as three. Oh, does it have to be a two player then? Oh, you can have one player as a computer. Okay. Okay, I guess that makes it a bit more. <laughs> makes it feel more like a game. Press fire to begin. Avail available soon on all Amigas and the CD32. And I know for a fact that, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this one did see a full release as well. Because, uh, yeah, long story short, this is a beat em up game involving furries. And, uh, well, I say fur, you know what I mean. Um, and it's not a very good one at that. Oof, kicked him in the face. Yeah, that didn't seem too bad. Oh, <laughs> instant replay, skip or watch. Um, skip. <laughs> it's not exciting enough to warrant a replay. Ooh, seems, wow, it just seems way more ruthless than before. Suddenly indulged in the Weetabix. Oh, cool. can we just spam the leg sweep? Ah, so this is the way to go. And okay, looks like there's a power meter on the top left as well. I guess if you hold that down, there's more damage. Wow. We won the via leg sweep. Oh, go on then, let's watch it. It's not going to be anything thrilling. It's like, hey, check me out and we'll <laughs> check out all my leg sweeps. On the other hand, I suppose that's that in itself makes it unique. I mean, aside from animals fighting against each other. I don't remember having a, seen a replay feature on other fighting games for the Amiga. Or well, indeed, a lot of other consoles as well. So, yep, we are watching myself repeatedly you abuse the leg sweep uh, tactic. Yes, that was worth rechecking out. And that's it. Is that That's the whole thing, isn't it? Okay. I mean, to be fair, a lot of... 
a lot of beat 'em up demos just have you, you know, being one character facing an off another one, and that's sort of it. They were they're I'm trying to think of other demos. They had a Rise of the Robot demo as well, um, where you were Android and the other player was like, oh, is that some evil purple variation? And that could be either computer controlled. No, it's all like a mis sorry, not purple, like a brownie sort of beigey robot that you had to face. And it was just basically that, either two player or one versus the computer. And you know, some people would argue that that would that alone would be better than the full game because the full game didn't really offer much. But yeah, going back to this one, um, I know that this one was quite. Uh, this one wasn't well received, was it? Let's have a look. Uh, what's the game called again? Uh, Brutal Pours of, uh, Pours of Fury. It could be Pours of Fury if it was cat orientated. Okay, so the first thing that you read is let's start this out by saying that if you don't like this game as much, but not more than I do, then you fail at life. What the hell? With that out of the way, Brutal Paws of Fury is a good fighting game if you are not a big fighting game fan. Let's read that out aloud again. With that out of the way, Brutal Paws of Fury is a good fighting game if you are not a big fighting game fan. There are obvious weaknesses in the gameplay and the mechanics of the fighting. Hmm. Wow, okay. Um Someone gave this eighty two percent. Oh Amiga computing, okay. Sixty five percent from um oh Amiga format. Graphics eight out of ten, sound six out of ten, five out of ten for addiction and playability. 62% by Amiga Joker. Okay, not terrible scores, actually. I mean, just very sort of mediocre ones. I know Amiga Power... Yeah, there we go. Amiga Power gave it 27%. And, uh, yeah, I kind of like... <sighs> Here we... <laughs> okay, let's uh, check this out. So, um, can we actually jump to that screen? Hang on a moment. So, if we just scroll it up a bit... So we've got a screenshot and their views. So uppers, the sound's nice. The graphics are nice in a cheaply animated BBC Two cartoon from Czechoslovakia fashion. Um, the special move learning screen is nice. So I guess you would see that on the full game. And the manual's quite nice. It's likeable in an Eddie the, e Eddie the Eagle Edwards kind of way. Downers, which is to say it's crap. But at least it's cheerful about it. Suffers from ridiculously poor gameplay. So this was like, um, oh, when was this released? Like 95, 96? I know, so I can understand where uh, it's coming from. I know things are getting pretty desperate, but you still don't want to go wasting 20 quid on rubbish like this. Mind you, it is nine times as good as nine as Rise of the Robots. And uh, the bottom line for the A1200 version, it is, of course, the same, not being an Ayatoa different in a single respect. Okie dokie. Can we have two computer opponents? That's the biggest thing we need to check out here. Oops, no, no, I didn't want to press. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to play it again. Nobody wants to play this again. Can we at least get out of it? Escape, please. Escape. Nope, can't even press escape. Okay, just... Uh... God, once he, get, once he gets you in the corner, he's pretty brutal. So yeah, obviously the full game would have music as well.
Okay, so a review, a review from Lisa Collins of CU Amiga. They gave this one 55%. Graphics and sound, seven, both 70%. Last ability, 55 Playability, 50 Hmm, that seems a bit high, actually. I would have given a bit higher playability. At least you can sort of control the character around. I wouldn't say it's completely... Yeah, I would have given it a bit more than 50%. But yeah, last ability sounds kind of right. The game is fun in two-player mode, debatable, as are most beat-em-ups, again, debatable. But the moves can become frustrating and luck can play too much as a part of in the battles. Bouts, ten, bouts tend to degenerate degenerate into constant sweeps and, jun and jumping kicks. Okay, yeah, because we did a lot of the sweeps there and that sort of like... Uh, uh, had us win over that CPU p opponent. It all adds up to disappointment. Good graphics are let down by watery gameplay, and there is no excuse for these kind of shenanigans. Ah, oh, damn it, we did the same thing. It was fire to start and left and right to select the options. Um, Anything else to check out on? So yeah, Amiga Joker is all in German, so unfortunately I can't read that. But uh, graphics and animation are both 67%. Music is 78%. Sound effects, 69%. Okay, so they saw a review a bit more on other stuff as well. Um, Handhabag, is that a playability? They give that 72%. But uh, down the bus, which I think is last ability, only 55%. So 62% overall, which is still quite uh, quite generous, to be honest. And Stefan Bradley from Amiga Formats say, overall verdict, a pleasant, quirky pretty beat-em-up which ultimately fails because the gameplay is as dull as a dodo for the over 30s only why would the over 30s enjoy this more than any other age group is my question there Okay, so um, again from CU Amiga, just an added comment here. What's more worrying is the fact that the password system doesn't work, which seriously detracts from the long-term uh, playability. Providing game text sort this and a few other minor flaws out. However, this beat em up would be a worthy addition to your game shelf. Hmm. Oh, that's sorry, that's a Becky Pond, that's Amiga Computing. Gareth Lothouse. Okay, yeah, they really seem to like that one. 82%. Yikes. That seems a wee bit high. Oh, you can. Okay, so you can have the computer opponents duke it out. Well, great. Uh, best of seven rounds. Mm. Okay, yeah, I've pretty much, um, as you can tell, I've pretty much exhausted this demo out. And yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. You just get two players to bout. Better, actually, so I was going to say it's better than the Mortal Kombat 2 demo. That's debatable. Um, in the Mortal Kombat 2 demo, both players had to be Liu Kang, which I felt was a bit cheap. So at least you got a tiny bit of variation here. I mean, the particular background is a little bit 
boring. Not too much going on there. Just a sort of sunset and some colours. So the same, <laughs> watching, watching two computer opponents duke it out is more satisfying than having a go ourselves. Okay, yep, it is time to move on. But uh, yeah, Brutal Paws of Fury seem to get uh, yeah better than the average reviews, which is kind of worrisome. I mean, Amiga Power sort of nailed it on the head. They didn't like this one too much. It's kind of gimmicky more than it is um, good, but uh, yeah, it's not it's not that great to be honest. So uh, yeah, let's move on from that.